You know, after my last video of 100 Days and Don't Starve, I really started wishing there was some sort of DLC or something focused on the ocean. Hello. No way there is. What's up everybody? Hope you like what sucks as much as I do, because I survived 100 days in Don't Starve Shipwrecked. The world is completely different now and full of new obstacles to overcome. I got to deal with a whole slew of new problems, including but not limited to poison, hurricanes, volcanic eruptions, floods, my own murderous tendencies, and crocodiles. But most importantly, monkeys. A lot of monkeys. But anyway, I won't hold you hostage or waste your time. All of the world settings are default, except I set the world size to large, and as far as mods go, I use simple health bar, combined status, and geometric placement. All of which I'll leave in the description if you're interested. I picked Wilson for this playthrough because I love him, and I want to just have a basic experience for this DLC. He grows a beard though, so that's... That's nice. On day one, I may have gotten insulted by a bird. I didn't waste any time and got to doing some basic resource harvesting. I also may have engaged in a little bit of lighthearted banter. I just finished watching Floyd since new Reign of Giants 100 Days video today. This guy's going down. I'm putting him into the ground. I'm gonna squander this nerd. I'm fuming. I've got steam coming out of my ears. I'm not slowing down. I'm gonna be out here cracking skulls and busting caps. I swear if he releases a shipwrecked video before I do, there's gonna be words. There's gonna be a lot of words being thrown around. That's all I'm saying. Quick, crab. Make a noise. I made a hammer and destroyed the wreckage around spawn since it gives you a free boat repair kit, which I would definitely need. I also made a backpack out of palm leaves for a bit of extra space and kept working through the night. Luckily, nights in shipwreck aren't very long. Day two, I decided it was time to get out of here and made a bamboo raft. Yeah. Now I was finally out on the ocean. I came across a huge coral reef pretty much instantly. I started loading up on coral, as it's used for a lot of crafting in this DLC. I remember having a really hard time finding stuff on this DLC, but I think I was just an idiot whenever this came out. I would have been like 10 years old. So that checks out. Came across another island before night, but there really wasn't much to speak of on it. No, this water's evil. There's fog. It's scary. Day three, I came out to this island, and it had just about every biome on it. Unbeknownst to me, it even had the tiger shark den on it, which I somehow completely missed, I guess. But most importantly, this island had gold. I got some and used it to make a science machine. I made a new backpack for storage and a shovel because these big piles can actually be dug up. The ones with the yellow specks even having a chance to yield gold. They also have a chance to have crishers underneath them that shoot out fire. I used some boards and vines I got on the island to make a much better rowboat. You know, I really should have made a bow lantern. That's not where I clicked. Day 4, I found out you can actually cook on the crishers. I collected some sweet potatoes while I was here, and debarred once again. But I didn't sail for long because I ran straight into another island. Now this... This is my kind of place. Oh, and the skull... The skull. Yeah, we're living here. I'm, just, I'm digging these up right now, I want to just fire out of his eyes. So cool, I love Ghost Rider. I'm like five. Now if there's any monkeys on here, that's gonna be an issue. Oh. What are you looking at? What I thought. You want an autograph? Go away. Can't leave this guy back to my house or he's gonna steal everything. Really? Buddy. You're not the one that has to deal with the hunger mechanic here, you know? He keeps trying to leave, but his poor AI is drawing him into me. Even he wants to go. Poor man is just imprisoned in the system. Science machine here. I'll have the fire pit in the middle. Oh yeah, that'll look really nice. Buddy, I need to set a couple things down. Here, have some ash. You like ash? Oh, he loves it. Yep. So cool. So cool. Day 5, I made a cloth sail for my boat. I was a bit tired of rowing. It was slow. I'm putting a lot of faith in these monkeys. That, frankly, they don't deserve. The real question... Do I want to relocate all of this grass from here to here? No. Oh, bless your heart. 
as if it couldn't get any better. Okay. Those are my rocks. Those are my rocks. Those are not your rocks. I'm going to squash this issue before it even is an issue. Oh, he's eating the twigs. He's smoking the smallest cigarette. I spent the rest of the day gathering wood to make chests. I would usually just drop stuff wherever like a slob, but for obvious reasons, I didn't trust the monkeys not to steal my stuff. Additionally, I started to hear some growling. I hear crocodiles. Yeah, I, I did hear that, Wilson. That's kind of why I commented on it, if you'd been paying attention. Well, they're taking their sweet time. On day six, they finally attacked. Well, one, actually. Yeah, so Shipwrecked doesn't have hound waves like the base game. Instead, you get crocodog waves, which are actually a bit more annoying to deal with, honestly. Look at how happy the jellyfish are. They're cute, you know? I'm not, I'm not gonna be afraid to say that. Could definitely turn one of those into a marketable plushie. That's all I'm saying. I chopped a bunch of mangrove trees to get sticks and logs. Gave me PTSD from the last 100 days video. Sailing around, I found two islands right next to each other. No, he's looking at me. Stop it. I don't like your peepers, buddy. I started getting some reeds since I was already in the swamp. On day 7, I dug up some sand and got a hat from a dead guy. Also, this island had an unholy amount of crabs on it. Keep in mind, somebody had to make these sounds. I guess this is just the crab island. Okay, well, good for them. Good for them. Exploring even further, I came across an island with a giant magma biome. I started digging up some saplings to bring back to base. This is the biggest magma biome I've seen ever. I just, this is the gift that keeps on giving, okay. After collecting some more on day 8, I started sailing back home. I think I'm going to name you Bigsby. So yeah, the skull's name was Bigsby now for some reason. If you don't like the name, don't worry, because this is the only time I ever mention it. I put all of my saplings in his mouth, though. Today was a big day for crafting, as I made an armored boat and some better tools. The campfire got replaced with the chiminea for the inevitable windy days. Yep, there's wind now. It basically just pushes items around, sometimes pushes you around, and makes your fire go out faster. On day 9 I wanted to relocate some berry bushes, so I started digging. I also finally placed my new boat. Look at that. Swag boat. Finally. No, I don't want that. Warrior spiders are furry and poisonous now, by the way. Good for them. Love the glow up. The urge to kill them is just, it just, it's so strong. I just hate them. It's it. No. Yeah? No, no, yeah, yeah, tell me about it. You're gonna run away from my hat. Scream at me. I spent the rest of the day chasing this monkey. Really? Yeah, tell me about it. I'm going to skin you. Am I in a Looney Tunes bit? Is that what this is? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. How about this? How about this? Let's have a deal for you. That does not involve throwing manure at me. Okay, well, not as stupid as I thought he was. And on day 10, I finally caught that monkey. <laughs> oh, the durability. You used 20% of the durability on this thing. You rascal. What's even the point? Nothing matters anymore. I ought to burn their houses down. Hey, you know what? I need charcoal. If their houses just happen to go up with the trees, that's really just the work of nature, isn't it? The cleansing, if you will. Are you an idiot? Why are you running into the fire? <laughs> My guy. Putting that fiasco aside, I made an improved farm, which kind of used a lot of grass. I went back to the neighboring island to get more grass, as well as some sweet potatoes. I wasn't really doing good on food. How did I not notice that the... Yeah, okay. Day 11, I had another crocodile run in. Just one again. I got some fat grass gains while I was still on the island. 
Look at how low resolution those potatoes are. The pixels on those potatoes. Back at base, I made another farm plot and slapped down a couple of crock pots. Oh, I forgot these don't have durability in single player. Why is that a thing in multiplayer? Might be a good idea to go ahead and make one of these. And then just get one of these bad boys. Just put that there. This is another shipwrecked exclusive thing. It makes ice, by the way. Need to kill some swordfish, if I'm being honest. Some cutlass supremes would be really good. On day 12, while sailing around, I got a hold of my first treasure map and decided to sail straight to it as I really wasn't doing anything else. What? I'll take the sail. And the lag, subsequently, I guess. <laughs> Alright, this better not be garbage. Might cry. Might cry a lot. Oh. Yeah, okay. I can work with that. Oh. What the scallop. Are you really unhappy about being wet? Like, like enough to drive you insane? You're on the ocean, my guy. That's like the most pressing matter here, is that you're wet? Oh, my my clothes are damp. I'm going crazy over it. What, what's your issue? Day 13, I found a gunpowder barrel that I accidentally shot at. Oh, one million health. Also, I didn't want you to shoot the spear at it, but I guess, you know, at your own discretion, whatever. I sailed a decent bit until I came to this big island that had the crashed hot air balloon on it. I would do Hamlet eventually. I also thought the treasure was on this island. It wasn't. Day 14, I left this island to get the second treasure chest. Land ho. Avast. Ho. Yeah, okay, okay. That's the good stuff. I was pretty happy with that and set off again. Sailing until I actually reached the world border. Oh, here be monsters. Okay, well. I mean, you know. It can't be that bad. Something cool about Shipwreck's world is that the world borders actually act as a shortcut, spitting you out on the opposite side of the map at the cost of your sanity. Much like a wormhole. There was another island where I popped out, but there really wasn't anything interesting on it. There were monkeys, though. Leaving this island on day 15, I came across something very interesting. Out here playing Tohu. Toho? Tuhu? I, I, I don't know. However y'all want to pronounce it. Oh! Well. An electric isosceles. I don't see why not. I think there's a volcano around here. Judging by how far my screen has zoomed out. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, there's a volcano on this DLC, and yeah, you can go into it. Let me just dip my toes in here real quick. Climb the volcano that might erupt at any moment? Yes. Spooky. And then just woody chopping trees loading screen. Okay, thank you. How's it windy in here? I'll tell you what, some coffee beans would be really good right now. So, I think that's what I'm gonna do. This place was great to find as it gave me access to the aforementioned coffee, the obsidian workbench, and even a special character, but we'll see him later. I went ahead and started getting some coffee plants. These have to be fertilized with ash before you dig them up. Or at least I thought, because as you can see, I'd actually found a few that even had coffee beans on them. So I don't know what that's all about. Luckily, there were plenty of burnt trees around that gave me the ash I needed for the rest. I also started messing around with these Dragoon dudes, as they ran around and were kind of funny. Hey Dragoon, how's it going? Wee! I love those guys. They're so silly. I just want to pinch their cheeks. Yep, here we go. Altar of Snackerfice. Good to know where that's at for summer. Or, um, dry season. Yeah, I'd say this, but I never ended up using it. I don't know why. Day 16, I found the center of the volcano, which was really hot, if you can believe it. Yeah. 
And there it is. Oh, my temperature. Point taken. I even found the obsidian workbench shortly after. I couldn't make anything right now, but it was still good to find for later. Oh, the obsidian workbench. You shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. Can't make anything right now because I don't have any dragoon hearts. So, it is what it is. I wanted to get 8 obsidian for an obsidian fire pit, but I came out one short. Those guys got weights? Really? Okay. Okay, well I have one less obsidian than I need. I finished getting coffee plants and left the volcano. I didn't really want to leave though. The volcano is kind of cool. Oh boy, what's it gonna be? Let me just toss it out, why not? Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yep, it works with me. Ooh, that's really nice. Looks like I was going straight back into the volcano with my newly acquired gunpowder. Day 17, I exchanged some stuff for some inventory space. I'll come back for it later. That was close. Really. Stinkray jump scare. Wow. I had to fight a surprisingly big crocodog wave. This was kind of a step up in difficulty from getting just one, but okay. Oh, they're gonna burn everything! Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised about that. Oh well. Oh, this set piece again. Cool. And this- oh, what the heck? Okay. I killed some butterflies for food because I was hungry and I'm a horrible person. Day 18, I found a horde of rainbow jellyfish on my way back to the volcano. What? Jellyfish migration, huh? More like... Food. No, Wagstaff, don't starve. He's so evil. He's so evil. Now inside the volcano, I started blowing up some obsidian. This was actually the only way to harvest it. At least until dry season, but, you know, that's kind of far away. My main goal is to blow up. I could have made some tools if I had killed some dragoons, but I didn't really feel like it. And I already had an obsidian spear, so... Meh. Spent the rest of the day exploring the isle next to the volcano a bit more. Oh my gosh. As much as I'd love to get more obsidian, I don't really feel like going to the volcano for a third time. Also found a seaworthy. Well, if I ever wanted to leave, there's my exit. Day 19, I started retrieving my stuff and left for base. On my way, I found some suspicious bubbles. These were basically the shipwrecked equivalent of suspicious dirt piles and coalifants. After following the bubbles for a bit, I finally saw a blue whale, with emotional issues apparently. I used the spear guns I had gotten before to take it out, and oh boy, do they do damage. Got him. As you can see, the whale is still there. Just a bit more dead than before. Now I would have to wait for the whale to start bloating so I could blow it up. Unfortunately, this kind of takes a while. Day 20, I was thoroughly insane. This is going to happen a lot. Not too happy about being insane. Not going to lie, but... Sometimes it just is what it is, and sometimes it sucks. Got another treasure map that revealed a new island to me. Honey, I am home and insane. Finally back, I started expanding storage to compensate for my newfound riches, aka booty. Alright, time to get crafting. Where do I put the coffee? Let's give him some eyebrows. Yeah, he looks, uh... Well... Day 21! It's officially hurricane season, baby. Get ready for the most emotionally draining season in this entire DLC. I actually had trouble taking notes during this season, as I was so stressed out that I kept forgetting to take notes. Looking at them now, I see that there are actually three days in a row that the only thing I wrote down was the word pain, if that gives you a good idea of how this went. The main thing you need to know about hurricane season is that it rains a lot if you couldn't guess. And there is a lot of lightning. Also wind now, which can be annoying, as you'll soon see. Oof. Snipe him. In fact, I don't like you. <gasps> Tarnished crown. I forget what to do with that. The Tarnished crown is actually used to unlock a shipwrecked exclusive character. Don't worry, I figured it out eventually. 
You get a bird cage out here. Yeah. I'd love to see it. I destroyed my chimney and replaced it with a stylish new obsidian fire pit. It's like a regular fire pit, but cooler. There's a new fire pit in town. Take a look at this. Oh yeah. We're gonna be seeing the whole island. Look at this. This is insane. Oh my gosh. The distance. I also finally fertilized my coffee beans. Luckily these things are immune to fire, as I kind of placed them right next to the fire. Day 22. If you haven't noticed, I'm not doing good on the whole not starving aspect of the game, so I decided to try and take care of that for now. Alrighty, let's look into making a troll net, I think. Not what I wanted to make at all, okay. Well, I have a cargo boat now, for better or worse. If any of you want to actually land in the bird trap, feel free, it's there, if you ever feel like it. I finally planted and fertilized my berry bushes, just as another crocodile wave started up. I think these guys are actually easier to fight on a boat. I took care of them without any issue this time. I went around desperately trying to get food and using my trawl net. In the process, I found out you can actually catch bioluminescence with a trawl net, which doesn't really make much sense, but that's okay with me. The cargo boat was also kind of nice for extra storage. Still not worth making it on accident, but a little bit worth it. By the way, do you remember what I said about that lightning? Youch. Youch. Oh. Please. On to day 23. Also observe how I brilliantly prevent myself from starving by eating raw monster meat. Strangest decision I've ever made, okay. Ah oh, well. At this point, I just had to sit around base. Otherwise, I'd get struck by lightning and die, which would make surviving 100 days significantly more difficult. In the meantime, I started collecting hail from the storm since you could actually refine four of it into one ice. This was convenient as ice could be used for filler in a lot of recipes. Is it over? That was rough. Oh, that was weird, okay. <laughs> yeah, storm's over. Day 24, I finally caught a bird. And with the storm over, I could actually leave without getting struck by lightning every five seconds. I did a little bit of bee murdering because I needed stingers for boat repair kits, for some reason. And started making a new sail. Oh, it's a baby. Oh, it's two babies. Oh, gross. Oh my gosh, finally. Day 25, I found a touchstone and took all of the pigskin from it. It was nice to have a second life, just in case. And I got another treasure map. These were actually more common here than in my last 100 days video, which is really saying something. Then I dug up a treasure chest that gave me another obsidian suit and spear. The loot from these is actually a bit ridiculous considering how many I'm finding. Uh oh. The color of everything changed. I feel a hurricane brewing. I gotta get out of here. Holy coconut, wow, okay. Ow. On the bright side, all the gear I was getting was good for the inevitable boss fight of hurricane season. Sort of like this DLC's equivalent of Deer Clops. Day 26, I was back home and some of my coffee and berries had actually grown in. I sat around base all day and did a bit of cooking, as I couldn't really do a whole lot else in this weather. I started harvesting my coffee, which immediately withered. They only produce once per fertilization outside of dry season, unfortunately. But I was finally able to make my first batch of coffee. Day 27, I ran around killing spiders. I'm pretty sure I was just bored. Then I had to fight off a crocodile wave. At this point, my sanity was basically gone from being wet constantly, and I was having an episode at base. Luckily, the shadow creatures weren't too much of an issue, as I'm just so incredibly good at this game. Day 28, I started wiping out some monkeys because they were bothering me. I can't say they were super thrilled about it. Avert your eyes if you're faint of heart. Okay. Got a bunch of little goodie bags running around here, okay. Also made some banana pops as they were actually really easy to make with um, all the monkey killing. 
and they restored 33 sanity each, which was greatly appreciated. Oh my gosh. My saturation. Day 29, I just went around chopping trees, gathering logs, getting attacked by poisonous snakes, that kind of thing, and making a boat repair kit as my boat was starting to look pretty rough. Day 30, it was raining again. Seems to do that more often than not. I was still making pierogi at this point, and the farms were actually doing a pretty good job. Probably because of all the rain, honestly. That's one good thing coming from that, I guess. At least I was able to make a lot of ice with the hail, though. I downed a coffee, and holy moly, this made me fast. Somehow it even made my bow faster. I, of course, used my crack at speed to get grass all night. On day 31, since I was so fast, I sailed to the island I had found before to get the grenades and cannon I left behind, and get some more berry bushes while I was there. I also found a treasure map directly in the middle of my base, so that's cool, I guess. No! Oh my gosh, okay. I'm quite wet. Day 32. I'm quite insane. I'm doing A-OK. -okay. Additionally, there are some scary noises coming from something big, apparently. Ah. Okay. We're doing this, I guess. No. I don't really feel like having to multitask here. Okay, well... The first boss was finally here, and so were the shadow creatures. Here to help him out, I guess. I'll just let the fight speak for itself. Be patient. Okay. I thought I was far away enough. I... I... I need that. I need that! Okay. I, I kinda need my weapons. Oh, okay. I... Come on, man. Stop it. <laughs> I was so far away. You'll notice I'm constantly fighting shadow creatures for this entire fight. Just as a fun little fact, the seal nato has a massive negative sanity aura, and if that isn't enough for you, it instantly drains 33 sanity if it sucks you in. That's a whole banana pop. I have no idea who thought this was a good idea. The wind is kind of working against me here. Really? Can those nightmare creatures go away? I want to fight the boss. Do you really think I want to deal with you right now? The two of you. There we go. I won't kill the seal. I'll take mercy on it, I think. It doesn't deserve it. It doesn't deserve it. And on day 33, the sealed NATO was finally defeated. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, that fight was just annoying. I really should have just killed the seal, but I don't have any enemies. This fight, however, gave me something very desirable. Now that, that's what you like to see. Excuse me, buddy, let me just take all of my stuff that you stole from me. Day 34, catharsis was setting in. Thank goodness. I'm a benevolent being. I just feel like being a good person. Okay, I don't want. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This is where I died last time. Okay, it's cathartic. You know, I just. I just feel a sense of accomplishment. Okay, 
Floydson? Try me. Try me. Your mother. Everybody's mother. Everybody's mother. Nobody's mother is safe from me. I'm going to stop talking. Okay. I kind of have a lot of food that I don't know what to do with now. I'm actually sitting pretty here at the moment. I've got a lot of food and also resources, so... Kind of in a weird state where I don't know what to do with myself. I spared the seal, not that it deserved it, and got the magic seal with a clean conscience. I still would have had a clean conscience if I had killed it, but that's neither here nor there. On another note, I got the absolute fattest chest right in the middle of my base. Oh, also in the midst of all that, I forgot there's a, uh... Yeah. And crocodogs. Oh my... For me? And I had another run-in with the crocodile gang. Can you, like, shave or something? What... What'll make you not be loony? That barely helped at all. And now you look stupid. Day 35 was spent cleaning out my island a bit. That stupid seal threw my belongings everywhere. So now my island was just strewn with stuff. It's time to go search and find where two stacks of grass went. Hmm, I'm debating if I really want to go to the volcano or not. Whatever. I have plans. I've got stuff I want to do. One of them involves making a lamp, which I don't know why I haven't done yet. But anyway. Well, no time to waste. Well, it's not entirely true. But... Day 36 started off killing. I've got a bullet for you. Thank you. No, that was a horrifying death noise. I'm gonna get you. Oh, that's doing a lot of damage. Wow. It's at this point that I realized that the obsidian spear does more damage the more you use it. And even glows like a torch. Oh yeah, by the way, it's monsoon season now. There's really only one issue with the season, and that is the flooding. Yes, we now get to experience floods. All they really do is, um, make you wet, slow you down, spawn poisonous mosquitoes, and completely disable buildings. Unfortunately, I didn't know about any of this. I also killed another whale. No, it's depressed. You hate to see it. Oh well. So I don't know what monsoon season entails. Generally, monsoon isn't something that's very calm. In fact, it's the highest difficulty in Risk of Rain 2, so I'm gonna assume that's bad. Oh, look at that guy. We've got civilization here. You love to see it. Okay, well he's trying to punch me in my back. A lot of dead people, oof. That's a lot of dead people, what's going on here? Can I join? I feel like I'm missing out. Day 37, another map, as per usual, along with some more clockwork killing. And another treasure map. Also, um, apparently I found Wilbur. I must have been sailing around at nighttime, because I kind of feel like that's a difficult thing to miss. Yeah, I'll leave that for later. I kind of like to let my boat take beatings, and I'm thinking maybe I should stop doing that. I know that might be controversial, but... Also, can we just mention the fact that I'm on day 40 and there's no swordfish to speak of? That is a tall bird. I'll be having that. Nerd. No, I set him on fire. Oh, goodbye, nest. Oh? Is there a doi doi here? Oh, buddy. You're coming with me. You know what I'm starting to think? These uh, obsidian spears might be better than the cutlasses. At least whenever they're all, you know, hot and ready like a little Caesars. Day 38, and so far, monsoon season isn't really that bad. Unfortunately, I found out that putting my obsidian spear in my inventory made me overheat rapidly, which was a bit inconvenient. I got some bees and honeycomb since I wanted to have some beehives on my own. What did you just do? That was a cool trick. How did you do that? And I'm crazy again. Okay. I'm getting a little sick of it. It's giving stop. Isn't this nice, everybody? We're back on the ocean. We're just exploring. We're all having a good time. I'm having a good time. I don't know. Maybe you're just 
sitting in your chair seething watching this video. I don't know why you'd be, but you know, if that's what you want to do, then up to you. This chest really wasn't anything special. I'm probably not going to mention the chests anymore unless they actually give me something good. And on day 39, I got a pretty nutty steamer chest. Oof. Oh, ukulele. Who cares about the gems, really? Any bees around here? Thank you. Now this chest, this chest made me start stimming. Holy moly, that's a lot of gems, okay. I'll come back for that later. Sorry. Oh, they look so happy. I feel really bad about that. That is a tiger shark. Hello? Your den? Your den is quite literally right there. What are you doing here? Apparently the tiger shark can just show up anywhere at once. I wasn't really prepared for this, so I just slipped by it. Hey buddy, I need you. Thank you. I now have two doidoys in my pockets. I guess I should probably explain why this is so exciting. The way doidoys work on Shipwrecked is that there are actually only two in the world. The only way to get more of them is to uh, put both of them in one place and have them um, do stuff. Oh, imagine how green my screen could be. I bet it would be beautiful. Leave me alone, I'm trying to be green. Oh my gosh. I could have been seeing this. Day 40, I encountered a battle before me. What? Civil War? No way. Oh no, they're having a gang fight. I think the knights are winning. Soggy monkey. I finally remembered that I had a motor and equipped it. It was okay. Not as fast as I expected. Certainly no Malbatross sale like the last video, but meh. Additionally, I went to check on that whale I killed a while ago. There's no way that thing ain't ready to pop. He's not looking too hot. Why does it make farting noises? Oh, lord. Yeah, the crocodile took that one personally. Okay. Did that just give me an entire sale? Whoa, these guys are just freaking loot bags. And a top hat? The wait was well worth it. I guess whales drop a random assortment of loot when they blow up. If I knew that earlier, I would have been killing as many whales as possible. But, oh well. Here's a memento. A parting ukulele. Holy crap, is that a Risk of Rain reference? Oh well, since I'm here, I'll just go ahead and eat this dead jellyfish. No, I revived him, what? I'm a miracle worker. I tested out a grenade and it was a bit lackluster. Holy moly, look at it go! It's busting it down! I mean, it was okay. Day 41, I retrieved my ukulele and got all the bees I needed. I'm a menace in the bee community. I've stirred up their little suburb bee houses, keeping the property value down by kidnapping them. Uh. Glad my humor has returned with the passing of the hurricane season. Now that I'm not, like, having my balls in a twist. Orange soda. What is this substance? I, I don't know. I don't know why he's saying that. I mean, like, canonically, what is this game set in? Like, early 20th century? Soda's been around for a while, Wilson. Sorry about nerding out a bit there, guys. I'll try to keep myself under control next time. Alright, let's take a pit stop. Everybody take a bathroom break. Had another run in with the MF and dogs, but it's okay because I've got that dog in me. I got back home and set up the beehives. Day 42, all my food was kind of going bad, but I got super lucky with my garden and had a dragon fruit ready to harvest, which I immediately gave to the bird for more seeds that I planted straight away. I feel a little bit bad for the bees, I kind of didn't give them any flowers. Okay, well, now I don't feel bad at all because they're trying to attack me. This is what I get for my hospitality. There was also a lure plant now, since I guess monsoon season is the equivalent of spring. On day 43, the downpours of monsoon season had finally begun. You try to take anything and I'm killing you. Yeah, I, I made that pretty clear. No! No, no. 
shortly after, disaster struck. Did you take both of my dragon fruit? Okay. The monkeys are being dealt with. What? Why are you rapid firing? At this point, I started to see what monsoon season's shtick was. Which was to say, flooding everything and somehow making my structure stop working. Are you telling me my crock pot won't work because it's flooded? Why is it sparking? It's a crock pot. Let's start making sandbags, I guess. I'm pretty sure the bees killed a monkey. I'm so proud of them. I just set my doyos out because I really didn't want to have to keep feeding them. On to the sandbags. In order to try to, you know, stop the whole flooding business, apparently placing a sandbag in the center of a puddle prevents it from spreading, which was great, except for the fact that it had already spread. Quite a bit, actually. They've basically already disabled everything, and my fire pit's useless now. I wouldn't be spending a whole lot of time at base this season. Day 44. It was just raining. Horribly. All day. Not much getting done. I also may have almost lost a doi doi. Ah. Come on, man. Oh, the freaking bees are killing it. We cannot coexist. You better not come into my crib. Are you... Yeah, really. On day 45, I found out that the island I was living on had yet another surprise for me, in the form of a slot machine. I would need to stay far away from this. I don't think I can control myself. Gambling's in my blood. I thought this would be a safe place for the doidoys, so I set them out. I guess the urge was too strong though, because I immediately tried my hand at the slots and nearly killed both of them. While I'm here, I might as well give it a spin. I'm already as insane as I can get, so... That was lucrative. No! That is a poison snake. That is a... Really, guys? Why must everything be poison? I love endangering my doidoys, apparently. And I am poisoned now. Luckily, doidoys are resistant to poison because they eventually recovered. I was still poisoned though. This is why you shouldn't gamble. Day 46, I cured myself. Luckily, the antidote's actually pretty easy to make. Let's just go check up on this tiger shark. See how it's doing, you know? I was pretty sick of this weather, so I decided to man up, grow a pair, and go give the tiger shark a piece of my mind. I was prepared for the battle of a lifetime, but uh... My health bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're stuck. Oh, the bees are gonna get it. Oh, never mind. Well, you tried, guys. Oh, well, you're gonna burn to death. I'm not killing the children. I, I'm not, I would never resort to that level. Yeah, that was a pushover compared to the Seal NATO, but yeah, whatever. Back at home, I finally made the Dumbrella, the shipwrecked equivalent of an eyebrella, protecting completely against wetness and blocking lightning. This will help a lot with sanity, as wetness has been, you know, the main problem. On day 47, I witnessed the miracle of life. Oh, what? There's a baby. What are you doing? Welcome. Make yourself at home. Don't do that, though. I hate you. I hate these doidoys so much. I ought to kill you right now. Where did you come from? You just came to kill a child and leave? I'll just leave. I, I can... I, you can have the home. You can have my entire base. I don't care. I've got things to do anyway. Don't hold me back. I'm gonna go kill the Quacken. I've decided. Uh, yeah, y'all are just gonna come out of the puddles, huh? This was a bold claim, as I didn't realize how frustrating it could be to actually summon the Quacken at this time. Or, uh, how to summon it at all, really. Are y'all guys doing it yet? Because your kid just died, if you even care. 
You know, I'm not going to tell you how to live your life, but I kind of put you two on that island for a reason, you know? I also stumbled across a school of ball fins in the middle of the deep ocean. What is going on here? What are you guys doing out here? We got fin, we got wasabi, we got sea breeze, chips, sushi, Brian. Brian's chilling out, okay. Okay, well, I'll leave you guys to it. I don't know what's going on here. Day 48, I sailed around because I wanted to fill out the map a bit more. And also just kind of avoid having to go back to base because it made me sad to look at. You are kidding me. Again? What are you guys up to? I was really just trying to get either a swordfish or the Yarktopus. I guess you probably don't know what that is, but I was looking for it. Just trust me on that. I also fought a blue crocodog. Wow. Apparently, these guys spread water puddles on land. I never saw this though because I never fought one on land. Day 49 was another grass day, and I tried to pick some flowers to help with sanity. As ashamed as I am to admit that. And guess what? I sailed around in my silly little boat. Because I'm a silly little guy. Then I just hung around base. Probably meditated or something. We're finally at day 50, guys. That one doesn't care. It's just like, yeah. I made more boat repairs because I just love to run into waves constantly. I can't get enough of it. Picked up a feather. Don't know where that came from. Soft and endangered. You're kidding me. Go away, man. Genuinely, I'm about to lose my marbles. Okay. <laughs> Goodness. You remember the, uh, the monkey guy, Wilbur? Well, I had kind of forgotten about him. But since I'm up and around and trying to avoid my home, now's a good time to go get that guy. So I grabbed his crown and started heading over. And on day 15, I recrowned the king that we all know and love. Alright, Wilbur. Welcome aboard. Well, goodbye. He's probably fine. Other than that, I trawled around a bit because I wanted some cool and quirky treasures. And I found a shipwreck. Alrighty, let's see what I got. A pan flute? Okay. Definitely a good item to get, as there aren't any mandrakes in this world. Day 52! I got a free fishing rod from the set piece. Very nice. Back into the volcano we go. I miss this place, not gonna lie. Wish I could stay here for a hundred days. Actually, you know, no, I, I take that back. I massacred some scallywags while I was here. Let's see how hard it is to kill one of these guys. Okay, um, not hard. Got really unlucky with the hard drops, though. Yeah, get him. Yeah, fight the plant. I, I don't even care anymore. Okay, well. I may have taken some desperate measures. I don't know why these guys keep hearts in their dens, but that really wasn't my problem. So I just made another spear. On day 53, I discovered something really important. Wood legs in a cage in the middle of a bunch of dragoon dens. Good thing I just stumbled across this guy, because I completely forgot he even existed. I had a lot better luck with hearts today, as I had before by the time I was done. Hmm, delicious. Made another spear and thought I would dry out an axe. I think that'll be fine for now. I'll just eat the other one. Thanks guys, it's been real. Oh hey, migration. Sweet. You know what? I'm hungry. I'm sorry, jellyfish and jellyfish enthusiasts. I look so cool. I look so cool. Day 54. I can't believe it took this long, but two very important discoveries took place on this day. Holy moly. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Looks like this fish evolved to run me through. Wilson, do not phrase it like that. Okay. Not a big deal. Only 54 days for a swordfish, but whatever. Another? It's not even my birthday. Oh, hey. Another... <gasps> You! You want a jellyfish? Yeah! Rock on! 
You want another one? No. He was that was it for today. He's he's tired. Look at this entire map and this dude's over here. I would be seeing the Arctopus a lot for the rest of the playthrough. Not because I wanted to though. I wish I had realized the significance of this guy sooner, and you'll see why. A vast yield whale. He just looks disappointed at me, and I I don't blame him, honestly. Uh, stimming. On day 55, I watched my doy doys do the deed. Uh. Oh, they're having sex. I'm getting out of here. Oh. Don't cop an attitude with me. Got back home, and this place looked terrible, if I'm being honest. But most importantly, Cutlass Supreme. Cutlass Supreme. And I'm out of stuff. Okay. I need to go get gold immediately. I appreciate that the umbrella protects my feet from getting wet. Day 56! It's now dry season! This is where things get really fun. As I'm sure you can assume, it's really hot. And if you couldn't assume that, maybe you could tell by how red everything looks. Luckily for me, the umbrella actually provides a lot of insulation against the heat, so that wasn't too much of an issue. No, the main issue with dry season is the, um, the giant volcano. You know that guy? We've been there a few times. Pretty cool. I don't want to spoil too much, but I'll just say, if you know Antlion from Don't Starve Together, it's like that on steroids. So that's fun. As a bonus though, coffee plants actually produce three to five times in dry season, which is very nice. You know, for a dry season, this is remarkably wet still. I went out to replenish my gold supply, and at this point I realized this is essentially just kind of Florida. You know, with the weather and constant crocodile attacks. I was actually looking at an article of jokes about Florida to steal from, but man, some of these range from like terrible to some of the best I've ever seen in my life. Did somebody say Cutlass Supreme? Oh, Cutlass Supreme, buddy. That's what I thought. Day 57. I made the stupid decision of making an ice fling -o -matic. Things don't actually catch on fire in dry season like they do in summer, so this was completely pointless. You guys don't want to mess with Cutlass Supreme. Ow. Watch your tone. I'll be having that. On day 58, I messed with the monkeys again. I'm kind of starting to feel bad because I'm kind of doing this repeatedly, like with the spear gun and everything. These poor guys are kind of becoming my test dummies, but at the same time, like, I hate them so much I don't really feel too bad about it. They can't be too mad at me. Thanks for the ash, guys. Appreciate it. Use that on my coffee plants. Oh, probably due to karma, I got my first trimmer, but that gave me an idea. I'll tell you what, if you want to direct that meteor storm, right over here. I also checked the wiki for dry season, and I wasn't too happy about the flingo thing. Fires do not spontaneously start. Well, what was the point? I mean, I'm happy, but I made the flingo for nothing. What was the point? Yeah, you like my beard hair? I made a thermal stone and endothermic fire too, as the umbrella just barely wasn't cutting it. Oh, you're gonna get killed so hard, buddy, you don't even know. He doesn't even know the hellfire that's about to come down on his house. How fast is this chop? Whoa, that is quick! Yeah, apparently the obsidian axe is just completely ridiculous. Day 59, the Day of Reckoning was upon us. Uh, yes! Right on target. Oh no. Burn. No, don't take the obsidian. Stop that. You just don't even care at all. You guys don't even understand the implications behind what just happened. Gosh, I hate you guys. Like, genuinely. My axe? You took my axe? What's wrong with you? Well, look at all that. Look at, look at how much they stole from us. This was a very eventful day, as you can see. 
This day is what kindled the flames of my ultimate master plan to deal with the monkeys. In the meantime, I tried to wipe out the monkeys on my home island. I was pretty sick of them. Day 60. Went to get grass again. Got any uh, grassers up in here? Grass gang? Group grass? Green team? Grass touchers? I guess these guys are still around and chilling. I sort of feel bad about killing their mother. Kind of. It is what it is. I needed a cool umbrella hat. It was also at this time that I realized that there really isn't any grace period between eruptions. The way it works is that you get three tremors before an eruption. I was under the impression that there would be at least a few days of safety, uh, but no, the eruptions happen nearly every day. Okay, these guys are pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. Day 61 and it's hotter than something really hot. In fact, I ended up just standing under a tree all day. Of course, I had another Armageddon as soon as I got home. I love Oppenheimer. Point proven. I get... I get you. Honey, this place sucks. Day 62, I harvested my coffee plants and started getting flowers for the bees. Finally. These guys have really been living paycheck to paycheck. By the way, as a quick tip, if you're trying to be cost efficient with coffee, you can actually use honey as a substitute for one coffee bean. Day 63, there was another eruption. Not much to say about it really, it was kind of just routine. After all of that, I set out because I really wanted to fight the Quacken. I was raring to go, my blood was boiling, I was ready to start cracking skulls, busting nuts, you know what I mean? Wilson's gotta be on crack cocaine to be rowing this boat this fast. What did you put in that coffee? Unfortunately, I didn't have any luck today. Speaking of luck, I should probably explain how the spawn mechanic works for this boss. Basically, the Quacken has a 5% chance to spawn when your troll catches something in the deep ocean. Gosh, I'm, I'm too fast. Ugh. Day 64, I was giving it another go. Still no Quacken, but I actually got some decent stuff in the process. A fire staff? Hmm. I could go make a volcano staff, couldn't I? Oh, you exploded my whale. Thanks, I guess. Day 65, I made a new and improved boat lantern. New boat lantern just dropped. Made more trawls and got back to it. Luckily, I wasn't trawling for long. Okay, it, it happened. Where's the uh, quack in itself, though? That's a fin. Have grenade. Oh, it's in all of this? Uh, ugh. I'm getting ya. Suffer. Scream. Gah. A vast, ye horrifying thing. I hope you like Cannonball. Get him! Cannons go! <laughs> My own cannonballs are becoming more of a threat. Get him! I did it. That's a key. Thank you. I... Booty bag! Give me the booty bag. Uh, guys, I'm busy. I'm busy! We got a hay wall blueprint. Fantastic, okay. <laughs> uh, feels like crown, obsidian armor, quacken beak. Hey, you know what? Considering how easy that was, obsidian armor and a food like crown is, you know, more than welcome. Yeah, I killed that MF in Quacken, and I got a key. This key will come in handy later. I don't know why I'm being vague, you clearly saw the cage that Woodlegs was in. So, yeah, it's for that. I was pretty continually being surprised by how easy the shipwreck bosses were, especially compared to the Seal NATO. Oh yeah, speaking of bosses, that was the last one. There's only three in this DLC, unless you count the palm tree guard. Things were going pretty well for me at this point. That all kind of changed for day 66. 
let me out. <laughs> Run for your lives. Oh. Okay. Goodbye, Bone. I can't really believe it got hit dead on like that, but additionally, you may notice that there are now dragoons on my island, as yes, those meteors are actually dragoon eggs, which I've been ignoring. It is what it is. There's not going to be anything left on my island. It is what it is. Rest in peace, armored boat. You did me well. That's an issue! But yeah, you're attacking me now, buddy. Put some respect on my name. I don't know why the Dragoons had a vendetta against my bees specifically. Even more confusing, I don't know why my bees are apparently fireproof. <laughs> no. It's not that big of a deal, it'll take me like five seconds. But um, no, I'm being dramatic for content, who cares. Okay, well I'm gonna have to take care of these guys apparently. They're sort of a nuisance. On day 67, something absolutely catastrophic happened. I was completely mentally devastated. It's actually pretty hard to watch. Veer's discretion is advised. I can't even remember what I was doing. How many trimmers do I have left? Well, that's no good. Or snakes. Are we done? Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. Well, that's a little unfortunate. Yeah, I wasn't too broken up about it, actually. You... are a horrible human being. I thought it only like had one meteor hit, but I think it just decided to queue up a few on my base. Interesting, okay, well, mildly inconvenient, I would say. Day 68, I started the process of fixing the base. Luckily, the main resource I needed was logs, and my no obsidian axe could chop a tree in six hits, so it really wasn't too big of a deal. Although my axe did overheat sometimes. Watch this. Yeah, I thought so. Interesting. Interesting system. It does seem to be daily. So that's interesting. Day 69. I lost all of my saplings to another Dragoon. I really don't know what to say about this stuff anymore. I basically had the base fixed with a few things moved from their original spots. And uh, maybe missing a couple of crockpots. Day 70. I don't think I even need to say anything about this. I love the meteor showers. They're so... silly. I put to use that quacken beak I got finally, and made a quacken drill. This would let me make a tar spot wherever I wanted. I got in my previous rowboat, all reliable, to get the shells I needed for another armored boat. This is my reward for defeating the quacken, I guess. Ball busting to the highest degree. The game doesn't like to see me winning. I really need a crab noise to calm me down right now. That's better. Yeah, okay, it's been fun. No! That was horrifying. Alright, the mission is to collect. The name is the game. Okay, let's go. I do have some plans though. I think I was wanting to go to the volcano, and you'll see why. I've got something big planned. I can't tell you about it. The haters are ready to just quell my fire inside my soul. They're ready to pounce on me, bring on my downfall, on their knees every morning. It's not gonna happen. And those haters are probably the monkeys, I guess, praying that I don't fulfill my goal, because I'll give you a hint right now. You know, the main end goal of my plan is it's not good for the monkeys. Quite a threatening spiel, I know. Day 71, I brought Mayhem with me to an innocent island. Yeah, those are getting way more frequent. 
Oh well, let me just get what I can while I'm here. It's not gonna be here for long. Yep. Okay, seven point. Dude, it's raining hellfire. I'm not your biggest concern right now. Oh no, buddy! Got flipped over. Why does destruction follow me wherever I go? It was worth it though, because I'm in a new boat. The destruction of nature is justified as long as it benefits me. Oh my gosh, it's over. This gives a pretty good idea of how much my island has suffered. Day 72. It was finally mild season again. I had survived a full year, if you want to call it that. Listen, the glow up will be insane. Don't even worry about it. I got my crock pots back up, so my base was finally back up to snuff and I could cook food again. It's like nothing even happened. Well, my house was destroyed, and so was my entire island, basically. However, I think we're doing pretty good. Well, I'm doing pretty good. You guys have just been kind of sitting around doing nothing, contributing nothing, and being a general waste of air. Are you eating? I bet you're eating food right now, you slob. Are you even tabbed in? Are you playing me in the background? Look at me when I'm talking to you. On day 73, I had big plans. Alright, we are going to the volcano. I've got plans. I've got plans. It does not include a voice crack, but, you know, I guess I can roll with that too. Alright, let's go. I made a tar slick by my island using my new quack and drill. It is a one-time use, unfortunately, but I can see why. Having a bunch of tar would probably be a little bit overpowered. I watched the doidoys do the deed again, and no, I don't have a problem before anyone says anything. And then I made my way over to the Yarktopus. If you'll remember, the cage that had wood legs in it had three keyholes. I had kind of forgotten about him, but getting the key from the quack and jogged my memory. Now, assuming this isn't just a kink of his, I wanted to try and free him. Problem is, I need two more keys. One of these keys is a 10% drop chance from trading with the Arctopus. The other key is found randomly in the flotsam you see floating around some of the shipwrecks that are scattered around the ocean. So I had a rescue mission with the deadline closing in kind of fast. Take my meatballs. No? Okay, well, screw you. Dead jellyfish, more your style? Yeah, right on. Day 74. No luck with that key. Unlike the Pig King, the Arctopus can only be traded with once a day, making this a very slow and painful process. Putting that aside, it was volcano time again. I finally wanted to use the magic seal I had gotten, you know, quite a long time ago, and also make a volcano staff, which was, uh, part of my master plan. Unfortunately, I forgot my fire staff, and the sail stick was useless because, uh, there wasn't any wind. I also started looking in the deep ocean for flotsam so I could get one of the keys, but I didn't have any luck. I did, however, find a friend. <gasps> what? It's my buddy. Rawling. Wow, okay. He talks? Of course he talks, why wouldn't he? On day 75, my saving grace. A group of ballfins absolutely embarrassed a crocodile wave. Hey guys, uh, you mind helping me out a bit? Get him! Get him! Oh, they're going off! I bet Brian's in there. I love you guys. Those are my dogs. I actually remembered to grab my fire staff this time, and then Yarktopus did me dirty. Right on! That's not a key. But that's okay, because I got my staff in the end. It really isn't safe for me to have this, honestly. Day 76, I destroyed a monkey hut for no real reason in particular. Just kind of felt like it, and I didn't get the key from trading. I did, however, make a tar extractor. I should have done this a long time ago, as tar is kind of awesome. It can be used to make tar lamps and provides max fuel to fire pits, as well as, you know, being used to make some of the new structures like the sea yard. Ah, oh, two. No, they're going at it again. Okay, never mind. Day 77. I just sailed around, took in the sights, laid back, chilled villain style. I'm pretty sure I was looking for flotsam so I could get one of the keys I needed. 
because on day 78, I actually got really lucky for once. Give me my breakthrough. Like it's lucky. Yes! Okay. Oh, I can't show excitement. I need to be dark and mysterious. That's uh, whatever. I mean, it's just a key. I mean, I mean, I don't see what all the hubbub is about. You know what I haven't found yet is a white whale. Uh, just another sad blue one. I don't even care anymore. I don't like sad people. How's the tar going? Oh, it's going. It's going. I want a sea yard. Which means I need to mine more coral. I was hoping it wouldn't have to come to that, but whatever. Also, I'm hungry. Day 79. I sailed to the Arctopus. No key today, but I did get all the coral I needed for a sea yard while I was here. Day 80. No luck on that key. I'm not going to mention this anymore unless I get it. Just assume I traded every day. Because I did trade every day. Hit me with a crab. Yeah. The rest of the day was spent gathering at a nearby island. And catching a bird for a pirita hatitator. That's an interesting word. Day 81, this chest I found had a boatload of boat equipment. Um, anyway, I got home and made a pirita hatitator. Pirate Hatitator. Pirita Hatitator? Okay. Then I made a sea yard. You still eating, by the way? Whoa! Look at it go! And I can just... yeah. Sick. That's awesome. Okay. We are breaking new ground here. I really wish I had invested in tar sooner. Day 82, I wanted to get some living logs for a shadow manipulator, just to have and show off really. My boat was now fully repaired thanks to the blessing that is the shipyard. And then I fought a whale. Now I'm going to be just taking damage willy nilly because I don't care about damaging my boat. And you know what, I can do that because I'm rich and I have progression on my side and I can do whatever I want. And then I popped a whale. Day 83. You're gonna laugh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh, what? Okay. I don't know why I did that, but you're gonna laugh again. Fish. <laughs> I was nearly too distracted by the fishing rod blueprint. I know, I know. It's, a, it's pretty good, but I think this is better. It's like the game wanted me to carry out my master plan. I tried to get living locks from a totally normal tree for the shadow manipulator, but I realized I forgot to trade with the octopus and tried to rush back before nighttime. Alright guys, for day 84 to 86, I would like to apologize. I kind of forgot to record for these days. So, allow me to give my artist's rendition. I started sailing back to that totally normal tree, but got attacked by a crocodile wave on the way. Before I got to the tree, I turned around because I thought that I had forgot to trade with the octopus. I didn't though. So then I started sailing to the tree for a third time. Day 85, I dug up another treasure chest and finally got to chop that totally normal tree. Thankfully on day 86, I realized I wasn't recording and turned OBS back on. And even more luckily for all of you, I had NVIDIA Shadowplay enabled. So I was able to capture a clip that went about 2 minutes and 30 seconds back. Now all of you get to see me kill a doi doi and make a sail from its feathers. You're welcome. Other than creating orphans, I made that shadow manipulator I wanted. Yeah. The shadows. Ooh, this is fast. I'm getting real sick of this guy's shenanigans. How am I supposed to unlock wood legs when this guy's giving me shells and seaweed? Huh? Want me to put seaweed into the keyhole? I could try. Probably wouldn't work that well, if I'm being honest. Day 87. Maybe a bit salty over still not getting that key. Where's Brian at? There's Brian. Ah, oh, hey Brian. Now that we're approaching the end here, I think it's about time I let you in on my plan. I know I've kept y'all in the dark, but I think this is going to be my proudest accomplishment for these 100 days. So, here it is. 
I'm going to wipe every monkey from this map. There will be no more monkeys when I am through. This is something they brought on themselves time and time again. They have no sympathy, and they're only fueled by their own selfish desire. It was time for them to face the repercussions of their actions. The day of judgment has come for these heathens, and I would be their executioner. I'm basically Ghost Rider, but for monkeys, specifically. Sorry about getting your parents, guys. You seem to be doing fine, though. I went home and psyched myself up for the next day. Alright, tomorrow, my mission is going into play. Let's load up. Gamers. It was now day 88. The day of reckoning was here. The monkey rapture, if you will. Except none of them would be getting spared. Alright. It's go time. What did you just target? Did you just target the bird? Yes. I hate you guys. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, good luck picking that up. And I did it because I like it. You guys get the deluxe ones. There you go. Merry Christmas. Hell, I love you. Burn. <laughs> yeah, go pick that up, buddy. I'm sick. I'm, I'm just itching. I'm, 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 I'm itching to do it again. Now we're getting to my favorite part. Oh. All right, that's enough of that. Time to get blue balled by that stupid octopus again. Day 89. These days were actually quite a struggle. There was one particular island that had an insane amount of monkey huts on it. So I had my work cut out for me, but I was the only one who could do it. Goodbye, monkeys. Wow, that's just an instant death. Okay. Order is slowly returning to our world. Now this... This is a problem. I gotta get rid of that. And I have just the plan. Okay, I don't have near enough volcano staff for this, but I do have an idea. Wake up! The demolished and burned monkey remains do make good food, so... Really, the mission serves itself. Happy Hanukkah. Alright, let's get these guys aggro. I have a plan. <laughs> this is an issue. All right, everybody. Whoa! Day 90. That's a lot of monkeys. I was trying to get them in one spot, but this just wasn't working. Looks like I'd have to try something else. Mm, distinct lack of keys in this chest. Day 91. I fertilized my coffee plants as recent events have provided me with a lot of ash. Then I de-stressed by taking out a couple of stragglers. No one was going to be escaping me. Alright, monkeys. You think you're safe because I'm on the water? I don't think so. And you guys... You guys might get the cannon, I'm not gonna lie. I like the cannon. Goodbye. There's a lone monkey at this one. Hmm. We can't be having that. Ah, oh, look at you. Perfect launch distance. That's my lantern! I'm going to be so happy when I kill all of you. Day 92. Now that that monkey business was taken care of, it was back to the monkey conundrum that I needed to solve on this island. Unfortunately for me, it was hurricane season now, so this was going to be a lot harder. Perfect. 
I was feeling really smart at this point, but now I had to do the hard part of actually getting every monkey stuck on the trap. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to see this through because I gotta get to with the octopus. But you see where I'm going with this. Going to the octopus was a good idea, because on day 93, I finally had the last key I needed. Ooh. Give. I don't even care. I'm out of here. I hate you, Yarktopus. My balls. In your face. Okay, let's get out of here. And your mother, also. Also, I could actually use my sail stick now that there was wind. Uh, that's my wind, thank you. The monkeys are not going to know what hit them. With my luck, a thunderstorm's gonna, like, strike my fence whenever I'm trying to kill the monkeys or something. Okay, well, at least he's... entranced. I still had to finish destroying the huts first, though. Let me hit it one single time, I swear. What are you doing? Why would the targeting system think it needed to sail in a circle? I did not try to move at all, I just pressed F. He started taking a vacation. After finishing that on day 94, the day was spent trying to get these monkeys stuck on the fence. How are you hitting me before I can jump? This wasn't going too well, honestly, and the storm was not helping at all. I'm so busy with doing things and this hurricane is really cramping my style. <laughs> what was he doing outside of his house? Get in there, man. It's crazy out here. Ah, uh, don't pose at me. Try to look cute. Day 95, I took a break to make a boat repair kit since my boat was a sneeze away from capsizing. Stop attacking the crab! He's, he's under the sand. Y'all aren't doing anything. The day of reckoning is near. What are y'all doing? Stop that. Okay, let's try not to get hit by any poop, because that'll make me go insane. And these guys are snipers, apparently, so... That's too terrible, because I'm not dealing with that. In fact, why am I not using this? Oh my gosh, I could be making tar lamps. But, you know what? On day 96, my efforts finally paid off. Think of this as a uh, grand finale, in a way. <laughs> That's it. Y'all are done. Y'all are done. All right, let's see if this gets them all. Uh, get them. Yes. <laughs> oh lord, they're dead. They're dead. Most of them. Oh, I am I am so sane right now. I don't even know what you're talking about, video game. You love to see that. You just, oh, you love to see that. Well, I didn't get them all, but... Really? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm sick of it. Hey, take this. Yeah. What about now? I'm out of here. That was a very cathartic experience. This victory marked the end of my crusade. I hope you all enjoyed that as much as I did. You know, I really shouldn't. However, <laughs> I did. Oh, the meat, the meat, the meat. And I only got one horn, really? That's an issue. Uh, I can solve this problem, though. Problem solved. Whoa, no! Is this karma? Yeah, okay, that was completely unnecessary. I think I might have just been riding off the high I got from obliterating those monkeys. Took me a bit longer than I expected. Good thing I got started early. Killing monkeys is hard work. Day 97, it looked like my coffee plants were ready for one final harvest. I started brewing some coffee and making honey ham for my abundance of meat that I acquired in a morally correct way. 
On day 98, I made some last minute additions to my base. Purely for the sake of flexing, I'm gonna do this, I think. Put it on his cheekbones. Ah, oh, his cheekbones are uneven. Eh, whatever. Haha. <laughs> I'm a douchebag, look at me. Now on the morning of day 99, I started heading to the volcano for my last mission with all three of my hard-earned keys. Alright, it's time. Yeah, try to catch me, cactus. Alright buddy, oh, can you guys stop? That seems like an excessive amount of locks. Yes it does. One, two, yeah. <laughs> make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. <laughs> And leave a comment. Oh, that you're ruining my moment. Yes! Click your heels. We've done it. He's free. And these guys are really, really ruining the moment here. Goodbye, Edmund Fitzgerald. Woodlegs was officially free. And at this point, I had basically done all this map had to offer. It's been fun. As a side note, I also made some dribble pipes. Make the world weep. Hmm. Interesting. Day 100. I kinda just started making random stuff for kicks and giggles. There is one more thing I wanna make. And that is a meat effigy. Yes! What a handsome devil. Alright, so what do these dribble pipes do? I think they're supposed to make it start raining, but obviously, yeah. I want to go check up on my doi doys. Ah, uh, look at y'all, so cute. Let's hope this doesn't roll a skull for your sake. Okay, life giving amulet. Sweet. I kept just making more stuff, including an ice and fire staff, but I uh, didn't realize how dangerous the fire staff was. I didn't mean to do that. I was expecting him to go open the chest. I was not aware left click while holding a fire staff automatically meant I want you to light this chest on fire. Oh well, it's day 100 anyway. And now it was finally over. 100 days on shipwrecked. Definitely a lot more chaotic than my last adventure, but compared to my last one, this one was honestly a lot more fun. There was one last thing I wanted to do though, as per usual. Be free, Seagull. I don't need you anymore. Oh, uh, that's... <laughs> Be free! Isn't this like a torture method? Poor guy. Who would do such a thing? Okay, get out of here, you little rascal. That was just a parting gift. You, on the other hand... I don't like you. <laughs> oh my gosh, why does left click automatically set everything on fire? I hate that. Okay, I, I think I'm done. Thanks for watching everybody. This was a really fun video to make. It wasn't exactly like a crazy challenge video or anything like my last one, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. I tried to do something a bit different for this one, so I hope it turned out well. I think I ended up accomplishing everything I set out to do, although I may have skipped over some content, like setting up a sea base and I didn't really kill a white whale or a bomb tree guard. I hope you can forgive me, but who knows? Maybe if enough people want it, I'll do Hamlet next. Anyway, if you liked the video, feel free to like and subscribe. As always, my Discord is in the description if you want video and stream notifications, or just to hang out. But that's about it. I'll see you guys later.